Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, our August 23rd class in 2021. Uh, last week, we had some whole new footwork of Empty Step, and we worked on a new move, raise hands and step forward. We're gonna review that today. We're gonna spend a little more time on footwork in general and get a real sense of footwork. I know we did a little more last week on that too, and we're gonna warm up similarly to the way we did last week today. And um, then we're gonna learn yet another new move. We're gonna learn uh, white crane spreads its wings. Now this is gonna seem like we're learning a lot of new moves. And I just wanna say right here and right now that we next week's gonna be a consolidation week. So if this week you get the feeling like too many new moves, too many new moves, don't give me one more new move, you've got what you want, right? Uh, next week will be a lot like when we did the grass, the bird's tail. We're gonna go through all of the new moves and answer questions and really try to help you get a lot of practice in it. So that's what's up today uh, with our agenda. So uh, any questions before we start? Then let's get started uh, much like we did last week, right? Let's, let's just jiggle a little bit. I see more people have joined us. Hello, nice to see you here today. So I want you to, much like I think you did last week, I want you to pay attention while you're jiggling. I want your body to loosen up. I want a little gorilla in this lower body, right? Like just let that, let that tailbone drop. And I want you to feel the bottoms of your feet if you can, hopefully they're not hurting you. Like don't jiggle in a way that hurts you. I don't want you, I want you to like, you can go ahead and jiggle and let it go a little bit more to your heels or a little bit more to the balls of your feet, right? Feel that. But I want your whole feet. I want you to feel that your whole foot, we call that being on the bubbling well. When you're like, as if your palms were just flat on that floor, right? You want that, that whole, that whole foot on the floor, it's not on the inside, it's not on the outside, it's not on the front, it's not on the back, it's the whole foot. Great, remember when we did those knee bumps and we did those last week? Now we're gonna get even more smart about that. So let's bump them out and let's, let's bump the other side, right? We did that last time. Now, here's what I want you to do. For right now, I want you to grow a tail. And that tail is just hanging down to your spine. The tail is hanging down. And if you want, for the moment, you can have that tail coming out a bit like a dinosaur tail. We'll shorten it up later. But I want kind of a dinosaur tail. All right. Now, I want that dinosaur tail to keep, keep facing back. Because you could do these knee bumps. And you could swing that tail all the way to the corner, couldn't you? Get a feel for that. You could swing that tail. You know, swing that booty, right? You could do that. But no. I want you turning right here. And I don't want you swinging this side at all. So this thigh bone is gonna go straight out, straight out, straight out, straight out. And that means you're opening this. And again, gorilling is gonna help you with that, okay? So I want you to get this sense, right? So, so feel the difference, swing that tail. Swing that tail, just enjoy it. Swing that tail on both sides, right? But now I want you to kind of feel that tail and just concentrate on opening, closing, opening, closing. This, this hip, now part of that hip is turning. There's no question that hip is turning. Part of that behind you have is moving, right? But, and let's do it on the other side, but, I want you to differentiate that, right? I don't want the hips don't always move in a unit. We are opening and closing, much like I could, can, I could open and close, right? A joint up here on one side or the other, right? If you want to get a bit really crazy, you can do what I'm doing, right? Whoa, right? But where's my spine? I've got the fishbowl on top of my head. And all these joints can just do what they're doing, right? So if you ever want to just like pat your head and rub your tummy, you can, you can play those games. 
So today I'm, we're going to be talking a bit about our tail and, and where this tailbone is. So let's do one more thing with that tailbone. Let's just jiggle a little bit. And then I know this is going to sound weird, but it's an important thing. I want you to imagine a line. I've actually got one on the floor here that you can look at. That's right between your feet, right? That should be where your tailbone is, right? It's between your feet. As long as your shoulder width apart, it would look like, like mine is. If we were doing an empty stance, it'd be a line right next to our, our heels and right, right between our heels, right? So, so I want that spine to stay on it. And, so, and, and I want you to, to think right now about, I'm gonna turn this way, now I won't have that line, but I want you to think right now about how your spine goes from the very top of your head all the way down to the ground. And I want to touch like, like a plumb line, you know, like all the way straight down. And, 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 and you can move your spine, you can move it forward and back. And we've talked about this before, right? We don't want, we don't want our, 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 our spine tail, if you think of it as a tail, sticking out like this. And we don't want our tail sticking way in like this either. You know, I mean, we want it just down, dropping down. That's kind of, when I say gorilla, that's kind of what I mean, loosen up let it drop, let it drop and have it there. This is gonna help your empty step, your, your bow step, various things like that. Okay, so um, I wanted to do that. We're gonna come back to that um, as we, oh, actually let's go, let's go right into a bow step. I mean, a empty step here. So um, let's be in the corner, um, just sort of standing in the corner and then let's, uh, Let's open up like this. But what I would like right now is I would like you to think that what you just opened, because you probably just felt like you opened this side, but now I want you to think that your tailbone is going straight back, right? I want you to think that your, your tail is kind of pointed straight back. It's right in the center. And then I want you to go heel, heel, and then get the weight off your heel. And then I want you to put weight on the ball of your foot. And then I want you to take it off and then weight on the heel pad, the whole heel pad, and then rock off of it, all the way off of it. And when you do, your, 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 your tail is kind of facing back, right? It's right along this center line. I want you to look down and, oh, wait, maybe this is closed, right? So, so you want to make sure that this is this thigh bone is is coming down right over where your toe is. Your hip is right over where your foot is, but you're open here so that you can heel, toe, heel, toe. Give a sort of push in, push in, push in, push in. Let's do that on the other side. Again, you're going to have going to feel it right here if you get the trick. Let's do it on the other side. I'm gonna um, stand, stand, and you want, you want to stand in such a way that your thigh bone is, uh, is aligned. And then as you turn out with this other foot, you don't wanna have that knee come in because you swung your hips in some funky way. You want actually to just keep this out and you want your tail to the back and then heel, toe, heel, toe at your own speed, just pushing in, pushing down, getting a sense of that, all right? That back forth, this is an empty step. Our heels, our heels are on either side of an imaginary line. Our thigh bones are pretty much, as much as our own anatomy allows us to, our, our thigh bones are pretty much in line with, with, with our, our toes. So it's important that you get it kind of at the angle there. And we're opening here, we're, we're, we're opening here, all right? So that's, 
That's our empty step. Let's just try it one more time. We're gonna step here, just step here, stand here, center our, our spine right over this foot. Then we're gonna put out our, our heel edge and then rock on to that heel pad. And when we do, we're almost always with our upper body to the corner. Let's do that on the other side. We're gonna come and put our, our other foot in the corner, nice corner. We're gonna have a sense that our whole spine is right above that foot. So we're feeling the weight everywhere. And when we look down, we see that our knee is pointing in the direction our foot is pointing in. And then we're gonna put our other foot out here. And we're gonna put it on that heel edge and then rock onto it. And, and we can make a little bend right, right in here, right in here. So we don't have to move, move too far, you know, move ourselves too far. We just can get a lot of weight right there. And then how do you come off? You just rock off it. You push with that heel pad and come back. Is that cool? All right, that is the heel. Now we're today, in our new move, we're gonna do the, um, the toe. So come over here and you're gonna stand on that you know, same way. And, and you're gonna open, right? You're gonna open. I haven't put a foot down now, but you know, I'm gonna get that, that tailbone ready to be right, right over where this foot is, feeling the weight on the whole foot as we talked about earlier. And now this time I'm gonna put the ball of my foot down and I'm gonna push with it too. And again, I can get that little push by making a little fold right here. And where is my, where is my, um, where are my, are, are my hips? I'm not like turning out way here because if I did, where would the bottom of my tailbone be, right? I want the bottom of my tailbone to stay on that line. It might rotate a little now and again, but the tailbone is always on the center line in an empty steps. It's right, it's right over where your foot is. And you should see that pretty much your, 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 your thigh bone is in, on both legs is in line. And if your thigh bone is not, there are exceptions to this, but if your thigh bone is not terribly in line, then it's, it's, it usually means you haven't opened far enough. And again, relaxing here and gorilla -ing is gonna help you to open there. Any questions about this? This is very similar to what we did before. Oh, one more thing. When we do, we, we said earlier that when we do an empty step, you do an empty step like on our heel that our upper body tends to go off towards the corner, right? That tends to be what happens. When we, when we do a, when our, uh, the pad of our, of our ball of our foot is there, we tend to have our lower body in this position and our upper body has the freedom to turn. And it, it may not turn all the way square, but it oftentimes is square because of the way we use it. So just be kind of ready for that today. That is the empty stance. Oh, that looks good. I see people practicing. This is good. This is a little challenging because it can be, it can be tiring on your legs and it can feel quite awkward. I'm not sure why, but it does. So, so if it feels awkward, it takes a while for your body to relax into it. But one of the things you can realize is that your spine is right there, is right over that hip. Your, your spine is right along the center line and your, 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 
your hip, your hip is right, right on top of your foot, whether you're doing a, a heel touch or a ball touch. Sometimes we'll refer to it as a toe touch, but we mean the ball of your foot. Empty step. We good? I'm seeing thumbs up. I'm seeing nods. Good. Wonderful. This is something you will come back to again and again, much like the bow step. It just gets deeper and kind of more nuanced as you go through. And, and when, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of things, but I think for now, that's going to be enough for us. Um, I want to warm up our upper bodies and our lower bodies a little. So let's, let's come here again and let's, uh, let's, come up like in uh, opening, but now I want you to gorilla and sink as you come down, nice. You're pushing down and then come up and just feel it go into your arms. I want a lot of extension, nice. Oh, this is lovely. And come down. And I want you to feel like, again, I want you to keep the, the weight that you have equally divided on both feet. Can you, can you kind of feel that? And can you feel your spine just rising and falling? Can you feel all the way to the top of your head? Wonderful, you, you look fabulous. Now we're gonna let our hands come down. We're gonna rotate our arms out and then up. We're actually gonna ask the fish to hang on. We get to this point, we're just gonna let our, our, our hands come over. When they get to eye level, we're gonna start coming down. Nice. And again, the center of your body is very stable. Your weight is very stable. Your spine is just dropping. It's very relaxed. You feel a little gorilla moments. Nice. This is called gazing at the moon. It's a lovely exercise. Great. Now I want us to come up and out. And I'm for today gonna to call this breathing tree. So we're gonna come in and hug a tree. You know, one of those nice East Coast trees. And as we come down, I want you to keep feeling the, the, that bubbling well, that fact that you are on both feet and those elbows, remember? Those elbows drop a little bit, those shoulders are down, nice. Now it's gonna breathe, you're attached to it. So as you come up, Nice. Oh, beautiful. And it's round, so you must stay rounded, right? Nice. So we're opening both of these joints, but the center of us is staying very stable. Right? Lovely. I like this. Oh, beautiful positions. Feel that those, those shoulders are relaxed on the tops of them, you know? And those uh, elbows are sort of pulled down a little. Nice, yes, lovely. All right, and we're gonna come in and come down. And now we're gonna remind ourselves about last week's move before we practice so that when we practice, we remember it, right? So do you remember we did some swimming, right? Remember that? It was like, kind of like swimming. And you notice that I'm kind of going down and up just to do something. You can do that if you want or not. Just to coordinate the upper and lower at swimming. And then we could also we could also do this, right? We can swing, our, just our upper body. Now I want, I want your lower body, your hips to stay where they are. 
Okay, so we could be take we could be swinging our tails, right? But we're not. Our legs are keeping keeping completely still, and only our shoulders. And if and as we can, lower down below our shoulders is turning, is doing its thing. And you know what? We could put these two together. Remember, we did that last week. So we swam, and then we actually were like, oh. Like someone said, hands up, right? So let's do that again. We swam into hands up. And then as we came out swimming, what happened? We turned to one side. And one hand went out further. Right? It kind of got pushed by the shoulder turn, right? The shoulder came out forward. And so it came. But we didn't go like this, right? Just like this, right? So it's kind of like you're here, you're here, but you know, like if, if the other shoulder now were out in front and you kept your hands along the center line so that you could put them on either side of your nose, let me get in front of the camera a little better. See what would happen? Do it on both sides. Because you're connected, right? So here are my hands. And then as I turn, I'm kind of, it's like they're on rails, right? It's like they're on rails. And you turn back and they're here. And you turn and they're like on rails. So they, you could turn like this with them, right? But we're not. It's kind of like they're on a rail this way, right? Because we were doing this, right? They're coming out on this rail. Right, they're on this rail. But when we turn, one comes in and one goes out. And then back and out. So when we turn and the shoulder goes forward, the arm on that side is going forward. Let's try it here. Here we go, swim, hands up. And we're gonna take this side and we're gonna turn. You see how my shoulders have turned towards that corner? And I keep my head up. Let's try it again. And hands up, turn. And guess what? My hands are in the center. They're in the center of my body, but my body is turned. Do you see that? Look, look, center of my body, my spine. We've been talking about the spine. That's where they end up. They start there. We could do it on the other side just for fun. Here, here, right? You turn the other way. Back, here, we're gonna go turn the other way now. Here. You see how far they are? So, so swim with me, everybody this way. Nice. Swim, hands up. And now we're gonna turn to that corner, right? With just our upper body. We don't turn our heads though. See how far my arm, look at my beautiful arms. Yeah, yeah, so not here. Here, yeah, out, out, out a little bit. Try again. In, turn, out. In, out. Swim, hands up, turn the upper body as they come out. And that helps to push that that shoulder forward. And you notice that my hands, as they came out, were back into swimming hands. It's a little up because it's this nice, beautiful butterfly arm, but they're not like this and they're not like this. They're nice and extended, nice and extended. It's a little hard to see. So I'm gonna show you on, on this side, right? And you can come over on this side. So we're swimming and we're gonna turn, we're gonna go off, you know, you're gonna sort of, turn your upper body away from me. So 
you have to kind of look over your shoulder, which is a little weird, but you know, just so you can see the arm position. So my, there's, there, there's where it ends up. And this palm sort of right here, this palm is a little bit pointing towards the uh, middle forearm. Questions on that? Remember that? And we went into an empty step. Let's just put it together with our practice. See what happens. Because uh, I think you're going to remember it when we do the, the feet, and then you can ask questions, and we'll review whatever you want to review. All right. Let's do everything we know. It's practice time. We're all warmed up. Prepare. Oh, this should be easy. Those, the bubbling well, our spines aligned, this feeling of extension. You folks have been doing that beautifully. This is prepare. Opening that rotation, floating up the shoulder height and pressing down. Lovely. Left ward off. Little shift left, pivoting and turning out to the right. Arms swinging and they're going to swing back. Sink. Close our arms, left foot steps, roots, and big macaw on that arm. Right ward off. Shifting right. Turning 45 degrees to the right, all our weight to the left, grab pull with that left hand. Our arms and feet close, step, and small bird on that right arm. Roll back, rotating both arms. We're pushing out with the right one to the corner and swing our upper body all the way to the other corner as we shift back. Press, continuing the circle with our arm as we turn our upper body back towards the right and press out. Push. Completing the turn to the right so we're square. Coming back over a ball or garage door and up the diagonal as we come forward. Single whip. Coming back, hands flatten. Ah, grabbing with that left hand, throwing your body and another person towards that corner. Arms continue to circle as we bend that right knee and our weight moves back, pressing down in front and then, oh, pivot that left foot, make a hook. Windshield wiper that left arm as we step out for a bow step, deflect, strike. Here we are, the new move last week. Raise hands and step forward. We're gonna Shift to the right a little bit and turn. We've done this before, right? 45 degrees. Now we're going to start swimming. Let go of your hook as you shift all the way to the left. Our foot comes in, out for a what? Heel touch. And then there are those arms in front of us we just practiced. Empty step. Let's do all of that from here. Prepare. Opening. The shoulder height. Pushing down so you can't push anymore. Left ward off, little shift left, turning out to the right. Arms swing, they're gonna swing back as we sink. Close our arms and step. Big macaw on that right arm. Right ward off, turning to the right. 
all our weight left, grab pull, foot in, arms close out, stepping out and small bird on your shelf in front of you. Roll back, turning the upper body only, pushing out to the corner and then right away, shifting back and swinging everything to the other corner. Press, continuing the circle of that right arm, rotating your left. And as you're coming back towards square, you press out, shifting forward. Arms open, why? Because you turned the last bit square to 12 o'clock. Velcro hands, you're pulling somebody back over that garage door, push with that back foot, bend that front knee for push. Single whip, shifting back, hands flattened, but oh, you're grabbing with that left arm, the right arm follows. Everything's just barely on the heel of that right foot. You throw them to the corner. I know you're looking away. That's all right. You're going to be able to do it. Shift back and make a hook. We're going to step out towards six o'clock in a bow step, deflect and strike. Nice. And we're going to shift a little right, turn to 45 degrees. Now we're gonna swim, let go of your hook, all your weight to the left. You can see me over your right shoulder, hands up, foot out, ready. You're gonna rock onto that right heel, 30%. And there are your arms in that, in that position because you've turned your upper body. That's raise hands and step forward. Actually, you folks look like you just about had it. So I'm curious what questions you have. Are we good? Do we want to practice another couple times? Do we have, have questions? Do you want a review of the footwork? Or we kind of reviewed the hands already. Are, shall we just practice it and, and then a couple of times and then you, you folks tell me if there's something about this move that you want to ask about. Okay, we're going to do it from here. And we're going to do it. I believe this is going to work. <laughs> from single whip. So we remember single whip, right? It's a left bow step. So our left foot is in front. Our right foot is off. Make sure that those thigh bones we talked about before are are pretty much in line with your, they're not gonna quite be in line with your, your, your toes, probably the, the left one is for sure. Uh, but, but if you bent your, your right knee, you'd see that your right knee goes over, goes over where your toes are. It just, there's sort of an optical illusion. So, so there you are and it's that upright bow stance and you've got a hook out behind you and you're, you've, You've got your, um, your strike to, six, to 12 o'clock. So we're gonna, uh, to go in to raise hands, we're gonna push with the left foot and bend the right knee enough to be able to pivot on that left ball of your foot. We're gonna just go 45 degrees. That's easy right now, our feet are parallel. We have done this footwork, this part of the footwork before. So we're gonna release the hook now as we push with the ball of our right foot and then start to bring our arms in as we really get what? That tailbone over, right over, here we are, right over the, um, that left foot. Then add, we're gonna step out and our arms are gonna to continue to circle. We're gonna hit with the heel and then turn, turn our upper body and 30% of our weight really sinks into that front foot. But look, 
most of my weight is still in the back. Raise hands and step forward. We'll do it. Well, oh, looking pretty good. Let's, let's do it one more time now that we've gone through it. So here we are. Let's get a nice bow stance. One of those bow stances where hips are level and we've sort of turned this in so that we're straight up and down. Remember that? Got our hook. We're gonna push with the front foot and bend that right knee, move the weight so that we can pivot, just enough so we can pivot to, into this uh, parallel stance. Then we're gonna move all our weight to the left, release that hook, our arms are gonna circle, all of our, we're gonna center our weight and then step out and turn. Yes, yes. How you feeling? One more time, one more time. Same position you were just in, left bow stance, strike, hand out. Shift your weight a little to the right and pivot on that left heel as you turn right, all our weight left, left go of the hook. You're swimming now, arms circling. You're looking to three o'clock, step out, turn your upper body. And there's this relationship between your lower, your lower, your feet. They're sort of pushing against each other. And that helps you right here to have this little tiny bend. Are we good? We'll be practicing this again, because guess what? It's the setup for white crate. So let me show you white crate. Um, one more sip. Or gulp, as the case may be. Today, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I didn't drink enough sooner. All right. Um, so let me just look at my notes. 12, nine, and three. Okay, so I wanna show you, um, show you white crane. I'm gonna show it to you three times so you can just watch. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show it to you. I want you to just watch. I mean, if you wanna move your body a little, if you can see. However, then I'm gonna ask you to just kind of do it with me a couple of times, even though I haven't taught it to you, because I think that's gonna be helpful. Okay, so here we are in this, in this position, right, that we were just in. So we're one line, maybe I'll come here, one line, two sides with this footwork. And, um, you know, we can check that we're in a good uh, empty stance and we're on our heel. That means our upper body is to the side and we're in raise hands and step forward. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna rotate my arms and they're gonna swing together and circle. And then I'm gonna step and one arm is gonna come up and one arm down. And then look, I'm in a empty step with the ball of my foot. So I'm gonna do that again. Hang on, I'll be right with you. All right, so let's do it from this direction so you can see it. So here I am, one line, two sides in this empty step. Raise hands, step forward. Watch that my forearms are gonna rotate and then I'm gonna pull down and circle and step, one up, one down. And let me show it to you from this position. No, I don't think that's gonna actually help. Let's see, let's show it to you from this position, see what happens uh, here. So we're starting here, 
and I'm gonna rotate and down. I'm gonna watch as I do. I'm gonna lift that foot up actually and step down, one arm up, one arm down. Really easy to raise your shoulder here. All right, so let's, let's try that. Let's see what happens. Let's actually do it. Uh, let's do it from, from here. Just see what happens. So you're gonna have your left foot here and your right here. And we've swum our right arm, you know, our, our upper body is off towards that corner and our right arm is a little in front of our other one as we have finished. And we're feeling both of our feet. Most of our weight is on the back foot. We're gonna rotate our arms and then the left arm's just gonna swing out like it was gonna swat something in the back. And then right at this point, Right at this point, you're gonna lift your right foot and then set it down so that it's pointing towards the corner and move over because your arms are closed. Now this is a closed step. And then one arm up and one comes down. And then from, let's see, from, Let's do it from here, from here. Oh no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I guess we do it from this position again. I don't want you, I want you to be able to see what's going on. So we're here. So right foot is forward, right hand is further out. Why is it further out? Because we turned, we swam, right? We're in an empty step. Our hands are our, our hands. Actually, it's our it's our forearms rotate counterclockwise, and then they pull down. Then they circle, and all our weight is off that right foot. So I can now turn it as my arms close, and I have turned now so that I'm oriented completely this way, and I've swung my tail, really swung it, ninety degrees, my whole spine. And so my right arm goes up, my left arm goes down, 30%. So let's go through those arms and then let's go through and let's go through the footwork. Wait, which way, which order did I want to do this in actually? All right, let's do the footwork first, okay? Um, all right, so from, from 12 o'clock, this is where it would be, right? you're in an empty step. So what does that mean? That means that our tailbone is right here on this line, right here on your line, whatever your line is between your feet, because it's center line, two sides. And, and, and you feel very aligned and all of your weight is very much on this foot. You're, your, your weight is right over that foot and your spine is right in the center. And I want you to give 30% of your weight to that front heel pad, right? That's where you are. So what happens, it's actually pretty simple. You're gonna push back, rock back on that, that heel until you feel that you can pick that foot up. So pick that foot up. Pick that right foot up, turn that foot so that it's parallel. And then you're gonna put it down and now you're gonna swing your tail so that you're aligned towards this way because your new front foot is gonna be, your tail sort of wants to line up with this foot, okay? So, so you're gonna swing your body, your spine is here, and then this left foot just comes in to neutral and it unfolds into not by the heel, just right straight into the ball of your foot. 
and you press down. You press down. Again, you have the sense of the two feet. Let's do it one more time. Here. Here. So left foot to the corner, right foot to 12 o'clock. Our, our upper body is, is, is to the corner. We feel that our spine is on the center line. We haven't like done this. We haven't done this, right? It's right on the center line. There's a dynamic tension like we're on a surfboard between those feet. But now we're going to rock off, going to take weight off that front foot, pick it up, put it so it's parallel, and shift all our weight there. And when we do, we're going to think I'm going this way now. I'm going to nine o'clock now. So this left foot just comes in, and then it comes out, and our spine, our weight, our weight is over. Our hip is, is right over this right leg. And, and we're going to, our spine is centered. And we're going to go down, down on this left foot. Right? That's the footwork. Any questions about that? Oh, looks good. Looks good. Nice to see. Okay, so how about the arms? Let's do the arms. The arms are not hard. So can we do this? Can we do this? If we don't do this first, you'll be convinced you can't do this. Okay? All right. Can you do this? Who can do this? Ah, some of you can do it. How about this one? I can come out and then. Right, out and in. And can you go in and out? Because you know, when we eventually do crawl hands, you'll have to do that too. So we might as well learn both. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could do this way out here. But where we're really looking for is can you, can you kind of do it? This part is out, but can you kind of, can you, can you kind of, circle in as you circle in you will feel you will feel that your elbows yeah I do, you're doing a great job of not moving your elbows see how my elbows don't move well they don't move relative to my shoulders right now again we could do it like this but that's not not everybody can do it right but if you can if you can keep it kind of in the same plane rather than going out when you do it, but in the same plane, what you're actually doing is you're turning, see this elbow joint? It's rotating. At one point you're stuck. You didn't realize you were stuck. Check that out. At one point you're stuck. But when you did it like this, you didn't think about being stuck. You just did it. So what did you do unconsciously? You see how I just rotated my elbow? You rotated your elbow. So don't let anybody tell you it's hard. You were all doing it a minute ago, right? If you swing an arm, swing an arm, push out. Swing an arm and push out, you're doing it right, okay? Just like you want to whack somebody who's about, you know, six inches away from you this way over there, this Whack, 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 you know. <laughs> right, that's all you're doing. Here, here. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to, I want you to sort of, for the moment, swim in this corner, just sort of swim in this corner, and then sort of get here. So, so, so what happens is your chest is going to be here. These arms are here and your head is here. Because it's, uh, uh, actually, I want you to, uh, Jane, I want you to, 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 to actually, you're doing a great job of using the hand I'm using, but I want you to mirror me at this point. There you go, well done, there you go. So, so it should be your right hand is the one that's further uh, forward. 
Yeah, your right hand will be the one that's further forward, right, right, right now, right? Okay, uh, it, it is further forward because that's what it is when we do raise hands and step forward, right? Right. Okay. So um, we're gonna we're gonna rotate counterclockwise just our forearms. That's easy, right? That's easy, right? Just a little. Now we're not gonna go all the way to flat. Just a little bit. You know what this is? This is we're getting, we're grabbing somebody. Imagine right now you've got an arm here. Ha ha ha. You know, like imagine. And then what are we gonna do now? We're gonna pull them down. <laughs> we're gonna pull them down. So just imagine pulling them down, right? That's the start of your circle. So here we were, and we're gonna pull them down, right? And then what's this arm gonna do? This arm, it's gonna do this. How easy was that? All right, so let's just do that part. So we were up here. We're gonna rotate, right? You're gonna rotate counterclockwise, right? And, and, and then you're gonna pull them down. And that's just the start. You just pull them down, you go right into it. This comes around like this. All right, well, what's the other one gonna do? Everybody's doing this fine. It, it comes to right here. It comes to kind of right here, right in front of your shoulder. Yeah, All right. Well, we want eventually to be here. So how do we get there? This other arm, we, we, we pull them, we pull them down and then it's just gonna come in over like this. But meanwhile, the other hand's gonna move. So it's gonna look like this. We pull them down. This one comes down and it moves twice as fast and it comes around and we close. Nice. All right. So here we were over here and we rotate. You're going counterclockwise. Pull down and circle. Close. Perfect. Now one's in the bottom. Your right arm's on the bottom. It's going to come up on the outside and your left arm's going to push down until it ends up at your side. Okay. So what's gonna happen? It's gonna look like this, right? You're gonna do it. Good job, good job. I want you to stop right here. Now it's gonna start, your upper arm's gonna start to turn because somebody's fist is coming right here, right now. So you're gonna go like this and get it and be safe, right? And look at this nice circle I've got. This is your final position. Okay, it's this nice circular arm. Like where have we seen that before, right? That's a nice circular arm. So there you go, that's what you're looking for. Let's do it one more time, here. And pull down and circle and bottom arm up, top arm down, and then it rotates, lovely. Lovely, so Heidi, over your head a little bit, if you can. Not everybody has shoulders that, yes, lovely. Not everybody has shoulders that can stay down kind of and do that, okay? We're gonna try this because there's only a little time left in class. And remember, next week, we're gonna really have plenty of time. So, um, so, so let's try it actually from here so we can put these together. So what are we? Left bow step, 12 o'clock, striking out, hook. We're gonna shift a little and then what happens? We turn to parallel by turning right, all our weight to the left, this is gonna be raised hands, we release our hook. All that weight on that left foot, everything comes in and then out to the front, heel touch. You turned your upper body to the corner, you're looking straight to three o'clock. Your hands will be in the right position right now with a right one further out, right? Arms, forearms turn counterclockwise and start to pull down. As you pull down, you're starting to shift back. All your weight is back when your arms are, are, are you know, circling. Now you're gonna lift your foot up because everything's centered over here. 
And then your arms are almost closed. As they close, you turn your foot and you shift your weight. Now, right arm up and you bring that foot in and that foot goes out and it must touch before you rotate that top arm because that top arm needs to have something to push against if you're gonna deflect that strike or that choke that's coming towards you. All right, one more time. I know you couldn't see that, but we're gonna do it one more time from here and then we'll change the direction. So shift, turn, all our weight left swimming, everything comes to center and out, churn, raise hands and step forward, rotate those arms, pull them down, swing all of our weights on the left, pick up that foot, step, and we're close step, right arm up, feet come in and out, ball touch, ball touch as we go up. Getting the coordination on this takes a lot of practice and we'll have a lot of time to practice next week. All right, so where were we here? We're gonna do it this way now. So here we are, just get yourself same way I am. We're gonna shift, turn, raise hands, let go, everything to center, heel touch, and swim out. Hands rotate counterclockwise and pull down as what? We push back with that front foot, all of our weight as we circle. We're almost closed, so we step to the corner. Arm up and left foot down and deflect up. Yes, good job. There you go. Any questions? All right, well next week, I think you'll be grateful for this. Lots of practice, bring your questions and we will, um, really work on these new moves and get a more familiarity with them, all right? Let's just drag our fingers through the sand real quick. Gorilla, enjoy it. You worked really hard today. This was a big class. And we'll drag our fingers through that sand. Enjoy whatever texture you want. And if you want, come up and And again, inhale, maybe hold your breath if you want, squeeze and just let it all loose. And one final time. 